mid-October, the scarves and gloves are out. And we've got our baskets and we're off to the woods. Dear, <laughs> I need Mandy to help me answer a question, and that is, how do we get from this to a nut roast? Ha -ha. A dream ingredient in any nut roast, I think, are mushrooms. And we're in mushroom season, but it's been very dry, and the moon is currently going down, and you really need to be coming up to find good mushrooms. all the parts nuts. We do still have a few. Oh, that looks like a nice one. Well, I mean. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Oh, it's bloody cold this water. So now I'm just picking a couple of branches of lovely, oh, fresh looking lovage. Right, well the rosemary is being completely invaded by the wormwood. <laughs> Absinthe. We're not going to be making that. And while I'm here, I might grab some oregano too. A bit of parsley. So it's mid-October, like we say, and we've still got a greenhouse full of tomatoes. We're a bit smug. <laughs> now, what we've decided to go with our chestnut roast is a nice tomato, red onion, parsley salsa. So I've got some tomatoes, just gonna look for a chilli. And we're away. Look at these red chilies. We've got all our veg from the garden. Mandy, could you go and get some onions and garlic, please? Okay, onions and garlic from the cab. Uh, we've got the time. And some thyme. We're going for lemon thyme today. Right, well, the first thing we've got to do is put the chestnuts on the boil. Okay, red onion. Check. Carrots. Oh yeah. They're gonna have to be Yeah. Some celery. That too. Yep. Some wine. Oh, I'll pop a chick. Okay, some parsnips. Yeah. Check. Onto the herbs now. Some thyme. Uh -huh. Uh, yep. Rosemary. Yep. Lovage. Some of it. Oh, what's the lovage? Oh, the lovage. Oh, here it is. It's, there, it's there it is. It's snuck into something else. There we go. There's the lovage. Okay. There we go. And do we have some oregano? Yeah, I've got some oregano. Oh, I've got some parsley for the salsa. There's a bit of lemon thyme there. And mm. some wine. Oh, yes, we've got wine. Sure, we've got wine? Yeah, we definitely got wine. Okay. Garlic. Yes, check. Apple compots on the stove. Right. Some breadcrumbs. Some homemade breadcrumbs, homemade breadcrumbs, don't buy breadcrumbs, they're bloody awful shop bought breadcrumbs. <laughs> All you do is you get your stale bread and you chop it up in the magic mix if you've got one, it's a lot quicker, or eventually in a plastic bag with a rolling pin. But don't buy breadcrumbs. What else? Sugar. Yep. Some Lovely and dark brown. Mm. Mm. Don't find that, isn't it? Harissa. Harissa. Mm -hmm. Salt. Oh. Pepper. Pepper. Some tomatoes. Yep, tomatoes. Some olive oil. Olive oil. Chili. Chili. Lemons. Lemons. Wine. <laughs> and I can, I'm sure I can hear you saying nut roast, nut roast, wine, nut roast, bloody nut roast. Yes, bloody nut roast. Well, it's kind of nice actually, nut roast, isn't it? Really. It's delicious. It's, it's, it's not bad. And as our house has gone all bloody vegan on me, <laughs> you know, we're going to try these things. Nothing like a challenge, is there? So we're going for a vegan nut roast actually. Not just any old nut roast, this is a vegan nut roast. And, um, actually, I have to say, I'm quite enjoying the challenge. You've been terribly supportive, darling. I do appreciate it. <laughs> 
Unlike my mother who popped in yesterday and already feels the Christmas dinner is the <gasps> biggest disaster ever. Okay, we like garlic. We love garlic. Garlic is good. We've got our garlic on the board. Peeled. Good dose of salt. A little bit more on the hammer. Into the salt. Ow! My bracelet hurts. And we're going to mince this garlic really fine. Get all the juice out. That's what the salt's doing. It's acting as an abrasive and squeezing out all the juice. All the Right, we're going to sort out the herbs. Really, really finely with the roast right. Time. Okay, I love this stuff. We're going to just rub it upwards, up the stalks. Okay, the oregano has actually gone to flower. I should have cut that back. But uh, I should do a lot of things. <laughs> so you've got the lovage there. I mean, lovage isn't something I'm particularly familiar with. Tell me about lovage. Well, lovage is uh, in the same family as the celery family. We are using celery, but it has a slightly deeper flavour. Um, almost umami. Uh, you know, that mysterious taste that everyone's always trying to get their hands on. Ah, this one I am going to chop. Oh, it just spread. Oh, just smell that. Wow. It, good, huh? it goes splendidly with mushrooms, actually. There's nothing like mushroom and lovage soup. But we didn't get our mushrooms, so we'll have to do without. But I'm going to chuck that in with the other herbs. You do have to remember not to go silly crazy with the lovage, because it is very strong. Everything's prepped and we're ready to start cooking. So pan on a high heat, and we're going to warm up a good glug of olive oil. So now that's nice and warm, we're going to add our onions and hear them sizzle in the pan. Keep them moving. Nicely coated in the oil. And get ready to put in the parsnip, carrot and celery. So our onions are hot but they haven't coloured. So let's get in the rest of the vegetables. The parsnips, the carrots and the celery. Let's carefully stir it all in. If you're wondering why this pan is looking so full, we're actually making two today. We're going to have one today with a lovely tomato salsa and one's going to wait for the weekend and we're going to have it on as a Sunday roast with some onion gravy and roast potatoes. So we've doubled up our quantities today. This is enough for two nut roasts here. So this beautiful pan of veg has cooked down a bit. So let's get the herbs and the garlic in. There are our herbs. Oh, it just smells absolutely fantastic. Mm. So stir the garlic and the herbs through. And just let it continue to cook. It's stirred, the heat's been turned down, and it's time to take on some chestnuts. Let's get peeling. <laughs> right, what we're gonna do, Hal? What we're gonna do, we're gonna peel these chestnuts. So they've simmered for 20 minutes, and they're still in the hot water. And you want to keep it that way because it's the hot water that makes them a bit easier to peel. A bit. <laughs> so with a slotted spoon, take your first lot into the bowl. Keep the heat in by putting the lid back on. And away we go. Right. Well, as you can see, you take the shell off and there's a skin still attached to the chestnut. We're not going to bother taking that off. If you were going to make marron glacé or something, you'd take it off. But for a nut roast, why bother? Let's not make ourselves work. Okay, so while I'm breaking up the last of the chestnuts, Hal's gone to turn the oven on. We're working on degrees 220, don't know what gas month that is, about seven, isn't it? Quite high, yeah, seven. 
Yeah. Okay, so they're all pretty broken up now. We're going to chuck all of this into a bowl with the vegetables. Okay. Mmm. Oh, we like chestnuts. Okay, so we're going to line our tins. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? Freezing. Okay, so we're stirring the chestnuts in. Then we're going to add the apple sauce and the breadcrumbs. Now, this is the point where I like to get my hands in so you can really feel exactly how wet it is, how much you're going to need in terms of breadcrumbs. I think I forgot that to start with. Now, if I wasn't doing vegan at this point, I would chuck an egg in. But then I probably would have cooked the vegetables in butter as well. You can feel it, it's still a bit sticky, so I'm going to go for some more breadcrumbs. You don't want it too dry. Obviously the breadcrumbs are going to soak up that juice when they're in the oven. This is the point where you're going to want to check your seasoning. It's going to be too late once it's come out of the oven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not bad at all. No, that's very nice. Um, oh! Oh, so good! Let's pack the tins. It's a hearty mix, isn't it? Mm-mm. Lovely. It's a bit of sandcastle building. A bit of sandcastle building. If you really yeah. feel like being flash, you could always uh, make layers. Stick little strips of mm. peppers in there. Make little, little waves of mushrooms or whatever. If you feel like being flash. And that's ready for the oven. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. Mm. <laughs> I'm a bit hungry too. Yeah. So how long is this going to sit in the oven for, do you think? Oh, about 40 minutes, I'd say. But you need to be keeping an eye out. But you do need to be keeping an eye. Um, we're going to want to unfold that parchment about halfway through the cooking. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be more perfect. We don't need scales. Oh my God, that is so much more luck than judgment though. <laughs> It's all she is working in restaurants. Absolutely. Uh, maybe. Night night. There we go. That'll do. Okay. What's the oven with it? Salsa. Salsa. Okay, so to keep us a bit warm, a bit of colour, a bit of zing, we're going to make a nice tomato salsa. Chilies, tomatoes, parsley, some onions, and apple. <laughs> I can only think she's thinking we're surrounded by them at the moment, and we are in Normandy. Am I right? You, you spot on, dear. Spot on. Okay. So some juice that the chopped apples are going to sit in. Oh, One lemon enough. Okay. Uh, half a lemon. Half a lemon. Half a lemon. Okay. So that's that job done. Finely chopped the lemon now, really thin slivers. Might let you do that. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Do this. Salé sucré. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's got to be one of the best combinations, isn't oh, it? That's pretty nice, isn't it? And a whole load of parsley, some salt, and some pepper, and that's it. That's it. Alright, well, I'm going to put some harissa in and thin it down with a little bit of our tomato juice there. So, a squeeze of harissa in the cup and then a little bit of tomato juice. Sugar, I just 
treasure trove. What would you do without some oh, What would I do, Lou? What would I do? Uh, that was a good start and a taste. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Mm. Lovely. Right. Very nice. Mm -hmm. An apple works really well, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> oh wow. So the, we thought these were going to take 40 minutes. In fact, they've been in there an hour, but they look amazing. Right, we're going to turn out our... And pray it's not stuck. Oh, that's very slicing. With my blunt knife. Just try to sharpen it. So, I'm going to slice that. Mmm. Egg got it, the salsa. Oh, is it time to eat? Oh, I think it might be. Ha, ha, ha. 